Welcome back. Now that we've gotten used to the CSS grid system, let's introduce a few more properties. Now, another thing we can do with CSS grid, because remember, I said it was two dimensional. That is, we can control the rows as well. So far, this is something that Flexbox can do as well. We can do something like grid template rows now and actually define the way the rows should look as well. So let's say I want to do one FR, two FR. What do you think will happen? Let's see. I'm going to save and refresh. And look at that. The first row has, well, is one FR, but the second row is twice as big as the first one, as we can see here. And because of the way CSS grid works, in the third row, because we haven't really added a third column, automatically, if there's more items, it's going to just start repeating. So the next row, which is the third row, will have one FR. So I can define different things here. I can say three FR for the third row, and let's say five FR for the last row. If I refresh and save here, whoops. If I save and refresh here, we see that we have our new columns or rows. But that looks ugly, so let's just keep it at 1 FR, which is the default. Now, another thing that we can do and that you'll see a lot of is the repeat function that we can add to something like grid template columns. So instead of doing this over here, I can say repeat brackets. And now I say how many times I want to repeat something. So the first number is how many times. So let's say three times. Repeat 1FR. So that's like saying 1FR, 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 three times. If I save this and refresh, I get one, two, three. If I do four here and I refresh, I get four. And you can imagine what happens if we do six. We just keep repeating things. Another thing that we can do is the auto property. And the auto property just simply means fill in whatever available space we have. So if I do something like auto 1FR, 2FR, and I refresh here, you'll notice that the first column doesn't really have any spaces outside of the emoji. And auto can also be thought of as the max size of the content. If I make this fox, let's say have a content of two, and I refresh, you'll see that the auto property automatically resizes to fit the content. And because this entire layout is on a grid system, it'll make sure that the ones below it will have the same size. If I do one FR here and I refresh, you'll see the difference of what we're talking about. It's not automatically scaling this first grid. Instead, it's going to keep the proportions that we have and extend anything below it that doesn't fit. So auto is another really, really good feature to use. But let's fix that. All right, let's tackle a few more properties in the next video.